In this video, I will show you how we can transform regular photos into illustration using Photoshop. So let's get started. So what's up guys, Drool here and as you can see this is the final output. Now to create this effect, we have to create a new document. So go to file and create a new document. My size is 1920 by 1080 standard HD and resolution is 150. Hit OK. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now we have to place the background image. So for that, go to file and select place. Now place the background image that you downloaded and place it. Now we have to rotate it, but when you do it, hold your shift key and then rotate it. After that, go and put it in a corner. Then again, hold your shift key and this time make it bigger, but don't make it too big because I need uh, a lot of lines. Uh, so I think this looks good enough. Then rotate it and adjust the angle. After that, go and confirm it. Now we have to fill up the empty space. So for that, make a copy of it, press Ctrl J. After that, press Ctrl T, right click and select flip horizontal, then go and confirm it. Now don't move anything, okay? Be careful. Then make sure you have selected your move tool, uh, hold your shift key and then move it uh, like this and make sure it blends really nice together. So I think this looks pretty good and now we can add in the model. So for that, again, go to file, uh, place and select the model image that you downloaded and place it. After that, hold your shift key and make her a little bit bigger. Uh, so I think this looks pretty good. Confirm it and put it in a center. Uh, and now we have to remove the background. So for that, go and select your quick selection tool from here uh, and make a quick selection of her. And if you want to remove some area, you can go and select the minus option and then remove it. So I think this looks really good and then go and click on your layer mask. Now if I zoom in, as you can see, we need to remove some area in between her arms. So for that, select your brush tool uh, and in the brush, make sure it's black color and make it really tiny. Then also make sure you have selected your layer mask and then just simply paint with black color and it will remove it. So that looks really nice. After that, again, right click on your layer mask and select refined mask. In the refined mask, uh, go and select on black so you can see properly. After that, increase your smoothness a little bit, feather even more, uh, not that much. Then go and increase your contrast uh, so you have really crispy look uh, and shift your edge a little bit uh, so we have better cutouts. So I think this looks pretty good, then go and hit OK. Now let's zoom out and that looks pretty good. Now to make sure she is in perfect center, select your move tool, press Ctrl A, uh, then click on your second last icon here, so she will be in exact center. Then go to select and deselect, now move her down. Now once you think everything is perfect, you can right click here and select rasterize, then select your layer mask, right click. And select apply layer mask so you can get rid of the layer mask now you can make it bigger press ctrl t and make it a little bit bigger then go and confirm it now make a copy of it press ctrl j you can put it under your paper layer it's only for backup uh, now select your model layer here then go to filter and go to filter gallery in the filter gallery make sure you are in artistic and select poster edges uh, my numbers are 0, 1, 1. You can change it as you like. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and hit OK. Now we have to add the shapes in a background. So for that, go and create a new blank layer and name it shapes. Now I'm gonna go and put it under my model layer here. Now to add in the shapes, uh, select your brush tool and in the color, make sure it is black so you can have a better idea. Now in the brush, go and select the brush that you downloaded. So I'm gonna go and select this one. Uh, and if you want to rotate your brush, uh, you can actually go and click on this little icon and now here you can rotate it. So I'm just gonna go and do a click and do a click here. After that, let's go and select a different brush. So I think this one looks uh, cool and do a click here.
so i think this looks pretty good and let's go and close this now to change the color of your shapes uh, you can do this trick uh, go and create a new adjustment layer and select solid and select any color that you like so i'm gonna go with blue to give it some inkish look uh, then hit ok then make sure your solid color is exactly on top of your shapes then right click and select create clipping mask so as you can see your shape has the same color and now you can just double click and change it to any color you want it's easy as that so everything is looking good and now we can add in the text so select your type tool from here and type in the text you want to type then click on your layer and confirm it now to make it bigger i'm gonna press ctrl t hold my shift key and i will make it bigger from the corner so as you can see now this is looking really good then go and rotate it a little bit just like this now i'm gonna go and confirm it now to change the color of your font uh, i'm gonna just double click uh, and click here and i will pick up a blue color from the shapes that i created uh, so that's looking really good hit ok and same way i'm gonna go and add another text Now to make your text stand out even more, you can add in some pop-up lines. So for that, go and create a new blank layer on top of your both texts. Uh, then select your brush tool uh, and in the brush, go and select a regular round brush. Uh, the hard one is better. Then go and make it really tiny. I think this big is enough. And for the color, uh, hold your alt key and pick up a color from your text just like this. Then make a little tiny dots uh, just like this. So now the text is looking much better. Now for the overall adjustment, just go and create a new adjustment layer and select levels and make sure it's on top of everything. After that in the channels, go and select the blue channel and the slider, drag it a little bit this way. Uh, and in the yellow slider, I'm gonna go and change it just a tiny bit. Then go and close it. And that's it. This is the final output. And the funny thing is that every time you create this effect, you will create something new because it's random. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. And if you did, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below. Till then, Goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.